Hey guys, and today I'm gonna talk about some things that I do and trying to save money, but some of them are pretty embarrassing that I don't really want to talk about, but I still will. Yeah. Okay, the first thing I have to admit, I don't take shower every day, and especially um, in the winter time when I don't sweat as much. Summer, that's a different story because I work outside a lot and whenever I do get too sweaty, I do take a shower. But it's not only for saving money, it's also because I'm just too tired sometimes at the end of the day. And the last thing I want to do is spend another five, 10 minutes standing up, taking shower and then like, getting dry and all that. So I took a shower um, two days ago. So it's you know and my hair is kind of greasy but it'll it will survive till tomorrow uh, of course if i have some kind of important things to go to where i have to look kind of nice i will take a shower but if there's no important things to go to because the kind of job i do it's you don't have to like look presentable there because you know those older people that i do take care of they they don't know the difference like most of them don't even don't like even remember lots of things besides just like <laughs> that but you know i don't have to dress a certain way i can just put on like whatever and um yeah um and um in addition to that i can tell you i because i don't wear makeup i don't um even wash my face uh, every day unless I get too sweaty so like in the morning I just take some water and like wash here and here a little bit like you know and and that's it and because like when you get up in the morning and it's kind of cold especially in the winter the water is cold and the last thing you want to put is put cold water on your face or whatever so I'll just you know put a little bit on my hands and like some on my eyes and I'm ready to go okay the second thing I have to admit I wear my clothes uh, more than once like if I wore a shirt for one day and uh, it didn't get dirty you know I can wear it the next day and uh, if it smells fine or especially my pants I can wear like for a week long if it didn't get any st stains on but the, I wear like I have like outside clothes where I go you know work and other places where people can see me and there's like inside clothes that I have uh, clothes that might it might have some stains that never wash off even though I'm you know because you know at home we all get dirty we cook we clean and um, especially if like some people if they work in the garden and stuff they get dirty and some stain, stains that just don't wash off so those clothes are still good for home so I don't have to waste my nicer <laughs> shirts and like once you get the stain like especially grease stain when you're cooking or something and it doesn't wash off the, that shirt is like ruined for going places but it's still good for being at home some of my, my uh, like pants have paint stains on because I was painting but those pants are still usable or um at home or like if they they have like tiny holes on them it's still fine to wear at home and i heard from some ladies they would say like oh if if i would wear like really bad clothes at home you know my husband would see me in those clothes and he might not you know not like me anymore or something i mean okay first of all if that would be the reason why somebody would stop loving you i mean they probably don't love you in the first place uh, another thing just just take a look at your husband if you think he can find somebody better than you you know he probably can't so just just be happy and like about how beautiful you are and honestly if i instead of spending money on some at-home clothes that will get ruined anyways in order to look better if i do want to look better i would try to maybe buy some face mask or to use or you know maybe uh, some vitamins that to improve your health those things that will improve your looks in the long run and not just the day that you're wearing something because clothes is easy to change out but if and but um you know the way you look 
after shower where you have no makeup on and like no clothes on maybe uh, but you know the way you look should not depend on what clothes you wear the, the way you look should depend how you look when you have like no extra accessories on if you really look good without makeup or fancy clothing on i mean you look good okay that's enough about clothes and hygiene let's talk about something i did well there are some things in the grocery store that i did um that might be embarrassing like uh, you know like some people might be embarrassed by looking at me that were there is um when I check check out at the grocery store, sometimes I split my purchase in two just to have an extra receipt. Because so with the more receipts I have, the more receipts I can enter into my Fetch Rewards app and um, score more points. That's you know I would do I would like go through all the work having two transactions just to have an extra receipt and score a few points. Yeah. And also, if I find some receipts on the ground that I can enter in my fetch rewards, sometimes in the parking lot or by the register, there's lots of receipts laying down everywhere. So I just grab a few and then I have more receipts to enter into my fetch rewards. And sometimes the receipts from other people, they have those brand name things that they buy that score you even more points because I rarely ever buy brand name receipts, I mean brand name items. Also, when I find some really good coupons for something um, that are like good value and like sometimes it says you can only use two per transaction. So if I find like five or ten of those coupons and I want to use all of them because I'm getting a good deal, I'll separate my purchase in as many transactions as it needs to be able to use all my coupons and then stockpile on those things so I don't have to buy them at more expensive price. I did actually get some coupons from the trash multiple times. I even have a video uh, somewhere on my channel um, where to find the coupons, something like that. I don't remember now. And yeah, there was nothing else good there. Otherwise, I would get it too. But there were just papers and coupons. Because it was a post office. Duh. Who throws away stuff <laughs> besides the paper? Another thing that my people might think is embarrassing is I reuse my coffee grounds. Um, when I put my coffee in the coffee maker, one, first day, then uh, the second day I, I I just add more coffee grounds on top, and you know because the second day I don't have to add as many coffee grounds as the first day and still get the same amount of coffee, but I only uh, keep the used coffee ground there for the second day and that's it so if i used it two times already i just throw it away then but some people might think it's gross but it was you know it doesn't spoil still so it's still good and also when i uh, make tea i have the tea bag in in the cup with the hot water and then after i drink most of it i just keep on adding hot water until i don't know until that tea looks like water <laughs> so I, I i do drink a lot of tea i don't know i do drink green tea and i keep on refilling it um i don't know i can probably five or six times until it's just no taste and also if i go any place and they um offer free water and or they ask if i want to drink i say yes because then i can reuse this bottle like I don't know five or twenty times refill it and always have water with me in the car or also when um sometimes when we have people over and sometimes they ask you know like if the if um if i want them to bring anything like in terms of food and i say no we have everything but if you really want to you can bring any drink you like you know and sometimes they bring drink drinks in like uh uh, soda or whatever in in those like smaller bottles and guess what then I end up with like a whole bag of uh, those bottles I can take to recycle and have some money I mean sounds embarrassing <laughs> but hey saves me money okay if you're still with me there's another embarrassing thing I have to tell you um, in the store when they have those free samples you know like the person is standing there and hanging out their free samples for peop to people and sometimes if they have more than one flavor I try to try each flavor 
and then I also compliment them how it tastes it good good to taste the whatever they're serving if I actually like it um then I um ask for for more because because I would say oh this is so good can I have another one and they usually say yes I never had anybody said no so and then they're trying to tell me that they sell it here for you know if I want to buy it so I always ask them how much is it and if they have coupons for it so but sometimes I have to admit those things that they're trying to serve to people, um, they're more expensive than um, maybe comparable different brand of this similar thing in the store. And if it's too expensive, I just tell them, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it next time when it's on sale. And they're trying to tell me it is on sale. I'm like, next time it's, I'll buy it when it's going to be on a better sale. That sale is not good enough. And sometimes they'll be like, you know, she she tried like four samples. She really liked it. Why she's not buying it? I'm like, duh, it's not on sale. So some people would be embarrassed to do that and they would just like buy it. But, you know, if it's not on good sale, if it's not a good deal, no matter what, I'm not buying it. <laughs> you know, especially if I can buy a similar thing at the, like a different brand at the cheaper price, you know, and Thank you so much for staying with me through, throughout this whole video of the embarrassing things. So if you have ever done anything embarrassing to save money, please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below if you want to share it. Thanks for watching. Bye.